I did <laughs> Hey, bitch, it's ya yeah, girl. And this week I actually had a fleshed out plan. Oh my God, what a shocker. For once we're actually going to go through with that plan. I put on my Instagram story. What do you guys wanna see? It was between me recreating Dana Dentata's makeup, who by the way, I actually love. You should go follow her on Instagram. That's gonna be next week. So be very prepared for that. But this week, because you guys voted for it, I'm giving you another story time. I guess this has become my brand and it's your fault. So blame yourself. We're just gonna jump right into it. I did porn. <laughs> um, it's not something I really hide. It's not something I'm not proud about. It was a period of my life. It was, it was a fun time. I was a hoe. I got paid for being a hoe. It was a great time. And like, if you love what you're doing, and at that time, I love dick, so I was like, why the fuck not? Um, then there's nothing wrong with doing that. But that being said, I wasn't like an adult film actor. I'm very hesitant to call myself that. I did a couple of uh, little videos here and there. I worked with this one company that was mainly fetish porn, um, where I got like hung from the ceiling, I got tied up, and, and that was like my, my gig girl. I had the best time. People I was working with um, were not friends anymore. They're not the best people. They're kind of manipulative, but I'm not gonna go into that. And I'm not gonna say what company I worked for because I don't need to get sued. <laughs> I have enough legal drama going on in my life, girl. Um, another company I worked for, it it wasn't really a company. I, I tried to have like a manager at one point and they booked me for one video and then never talked to me again. So that was great. Um, but I guess there are still DVDs of that being sold in Atlanta. At one time I was a little white twink. Oh my God. Scaring all my followers who didn't know that I have a dick. But no, it was, it was very interesting to say the least. I lived in Vegas during this period of time with some people who ended up stealing um, everything I owned at the time, which was very, very fucked up. Again, not saying no names. We're not here to air out other people's dirty laundry. We're here to air out my dirty laundry. But yeah, no, I was living in Vegas and despite what everybody may think, Vegas is a great place to visit, not so much a great place to live unless you're filthy fucking rich. I was living in an apartment off of a street called Rainbow and if you've ever been to Vegas outside of the Strip, you know that that is not a fun area to live. The apartment was a two bedroom. Um, both the bedrooms were being slept in by other people and I slept on the couch. It was not very glamorous. It was not a super fun thing. Um, I was just trying to be on my own and the one way I thought I could do that was to do porn. Money was involved. A girl had to get her coin. And you know, there's no shame in that, despite what Nikita Dragon may say. It was going very well until everything sort of fell apart with the two companies that I was like working with. The fetish company, uh, we just had a falling out because I wasn't really like wanting to fuck them, which is, it's very weird. It was a very, very odd relationship. Um, but we had a falling out because I didn't want to sleep with the director. Um, I had a falling out with the other two people I was living with who were also porn actors because again, they stole everything I owned. As for the other company, I just, I never heard back from the manager. So everything just fell apart. It very clearly wasn't for me. See, what I want to do is be able to just like throw up like the flyers that I've got from these things, but I know if I put up any screen caps or any flyers, like this video is gonna get taken down in five seconds. So, you know, if you follow me on Twitter, I will post them there, like right after I post this video, okay? So follow me on Twitter, at KillSky. <laughs> very, very interesting and eventful part of my life. Um, I was unfortunately on a lot of drugs um, and that probably did contribute to my inability to like commit to the adult film world. I'm so hesitant to say that. Yeah, it was a very short story time, very like uneventful, um, but I knew you guys wanted to hear it and you guys voted to hear it. So if you guys have any questions, um, I can always make a follow-up video, but um, for the meantime, 
this is what it is. It was crazy. It was fun for the person I was at that time. And like now that I've grown and I've started my transition and everything, like it's not something that I want for myself. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I'm sorry it's shorter than my usual ones. Don't forget to give this a like, comment, let me know how pretty I look. <laughs> but until then, I will see you guys next week. And don't forget, fuck church, watch Kill Sky. Bye guys. Oh, no.